What's up guys, it's Krebsus here and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be taking a break from my usual command lock stuff to show you a design I came up with for a very small T-Bud as you can probably tell from the title. So if you don't know what a T-Bud is, I don't know why you're watching this video but pretty much you update a block and uh, it'll turn on or off and update it again and it will give the opposite output. So T-Bud, T-Flip-Flop, Bud Switch and yeah so this is a pretty small design it's actually the smallest i've seen that still works and it measures just three by four by one or actually one by three by four depending on the direction you put it in but yeah so it's uh quite small you can use it for a secret base or something i don't even know if anyone still uses these but uh yeah so fairly simple and nice lag there that also comes with the system or if you have a pretty shitty laptop and also, uh, one more thing that I should mention, which kind of sucks about this, uh, this design is not tileable, but you know, there's not too many instances where you'd want two T-Buds next to each other, so it's not a major drawback. Alright guys, now I'll show you how to actually build this thing. If you can build it just by looking at it, there it is, there's no hidden redstone, but otherwise, let's get to it. So, you want to start by placing a sticky piston facing in the direction of your choice. Coming off of that sticky piston, you want to put a redstone block, and then you want to put a block above the redstone block, and uh, one, two blocks above the sticky piston. Alright, so then next to this redstone block, you want to put another block, whoops, uh, and then just uh, put a sticky piston facing upwards off of that, knock it out, and then put a cauldron on top of the second sticky piston and fill it with water, and finally you want to put a comparator leading into the block above the first piston, and you're done with your T-Bud. So if I update this now, it'll turn on, update it again, and it turns off. So to get an output from this, you can put a piece of redstone dust over here, or if you want it to turn off when uh, it's updated, you could put uh, another comparator coming out of this cauldron. And let me show you that now. So I update this, turns on, turns off, and vice versa when I update it again. Well, that was some nice lag, and yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video or found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And as usual, stay tuned for another video, and that's, uh, that's about all.